Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video. Today I brought you a new tutorial showing you guys how to actually stream with like the lowest internet ever. I mean look at my upload speed is 0.87. I mean that is unbelievable. But I could, uh, but I actually managed to stream without any lag and with a decent quality. So it's watchable and you could actually start streaming with this upload speed. And if you got a better upload speed that is actually quite quite better so if you got one megabyte or one well, like one megabyte upload speed or like two that that is actually considered good and you can stream in a better quality th than I do like I actually managed to stream CSGO like numerous time without any lag so yeah um, I'm not gonna go through how to set up the stream and these icons if you want to tutorial about that just leave a comment down below and I will make one but anyways this is actually focus on the streaming Part of thing. All right, for the general, you're not you're not really gonna change anything. I mean, you could change the theme, but it's like personal preference. Go to the stream, like select Twitch, enter enter your stream key. But the the most important thing is actually go to server and select the closest server to your country. For me, it's Milan, Italy. It is the closest thing ever, so I'm gonna choose that. For you, choose the closest thing to your country. Go ahead and see what is the closest server to you like like select like go and look in the map what is the closest country to you and like select the closest server like i cannot be more clear than that like it is important it it will like save you a lot of lagging and a lot of headaches so select the closest server to you then go to the output select streaming like make sure it's selected on streaming click advanced obviously and then go streaming now select the x264 I, I don't care what gpu you've got like select this it will save you a lot of headache now for the for the rate control select cbr it's basically constant bit rate which is like the best um for the bit rate okay for the bit rate you have to select you know your internet speed like your upload speed so i'm, go I'm basically gonna i'm basically copying that pasting it right here and multiplying it by a thousand as you can see and 870 will actually show up as you can see and yeah select use custom buffer size and I'm gonna go with a thousand because my internet could sometimes go up to a thousand and like select your max select your max speed for the buffer size and for the key interval select 2 or 0 as you want you can keep it on O2 O2 is better but I keep it on 2 it's really a personal preference as for the CPU usage like go ahead and select fast or medium I don't care what CPU you've got like unless you've got a supercomputer like don't go any any lower than medium like don't don't ever do that it'll make your stream lag like Trust me, and if you've got like a super bad CPU, like a Core 2 D or something, select it on ultra fast. It, it will basically ultra fast means it will not use a lot of CPU. Like this option right here, it will fucking rape your CPU. So don't, do not, I repeat, do not put it on this. Don't go anywhere lower than medium. I will keep it on fast, and it works just perfectly fine. So keep it like that. Okay, and of course. I've got an i5-7400 and it works just perfectly for me. Go for go to the audio tab now for the sample rate. Okay, so do you know what sample rate you've got? Basically, go to old like go to this mixer right here. Right click recording devices. Go to your microphone properties advanced and as you can see, it is two channel 16 bits 441. Oh, oh okay so 441 so it's basically the same as 44.1 so I'm gonna be keeping that do not select this because your microphone will crash multiple times so select your sample rate do not go any don't select any other options other than your sample rate so yeah do not mess with that for the desktop audio device like select your headphones if you're gonna stream use headphones because if you don't if you use your like speakers and your microphone at the same time it'll loop and it'll like make everybody hate your stream so don't do that use headphones and for the microphone select your microphone obviously and that's pretty much it for the audio tab go ahead and go to the video tab which is the most important bit of this video go ahead and select 1080p like on the base canvas and now select 480p okay so 
for the for the output like scale resolution hold on i would go with twitch bitrate i will leave this link in the description below as you could see so if your bitrate is 3500 and above you can select this 720p 60 fps if it's 2k 2.5k you can select 720p at 30 fps as you can see if it, if it's like 1.k you can select 480p 60 fps that's why i'm selecting 480p 30 fps because my internet is lower than this so 30 fps should be really fine depending on your internet speed as you can see how to know how do you know what bitrate you've got basically just copy this number right here and basically go on a thousand as you can see that means 1.5 megabytes of upload so if you if you have 1.5 megabytes you will have this number right here a thousand if you have 3.5 it, it'll basically be 720p 60fps you get the idea um yeah so select 480p go to bilinear okay so do not go any, anywhere above if you've got the same internet speed up as i do or worse like do not go above this like like it is the fastest but it'll be a bit blurry so it'll be fine and as you can see select the fps go 30 or lower depending on what your personal preference is so if you are streaming your like desktop you can go even 50 fps or 20 fps it's not really it's not really a problem but if you stream in a game go 30 fps minimum i mean yeah because it'll be the smoothest for the hotkeys gonna really help you i'm not using any and for the advanced tab go above normal because it'll make your like obs run smoother um select direct s11 if you have it if you don't select whatever you've got there for the color format i'm using nv12 and i crank this uv color space to 7 or 9 and for this uv color range is full so it's the best color and for the audio i kept it on default basically everything on default except for the delay i made it 20 seconds if you add a delay it'll be ba basically better because you know it'll have more time to upload and it'll be better actually so yeah um keep in mind guys if you have if you have an internet like this streaming like if you have a good download speed i don't know if you have like a hundred download and this upload i mean it happens and you've got a good ping um there's no problem really but if you've got a like a bad ping i don't think you could stream online games like i tried it before your ping will like go up to hundreds and you will not be able to play so if you have a bad internet i would really suggest streaming single player games or maybe recording and then streaming i don't know why you would do that but it is an option you could you could actually stream what you recorded i don't know i don't really know how yet but yeah um guys this is pretty much it for the actual tutorial if you have any questions be sure to leave them in the comment sections down below i answer every single question ever or maybe just drop me a follow on twitter and DM me and I will make sure to get back at you as soon as possible. Be sure to hit the like button if this video helped you in any way possible. That's all I ask of you. Just drop a like. Let's see if we can hit 25 likes on today's video. Also be sure to hit that subscribe button as I'm on my way to a thousand subscribers and I'm really really close. As you can see in this window right here I'm on 912 subscribers. So be sure to hit that subscribe button. I'm really close to a thousand subscribers and all help would be really appreciated um with that being said this was the tutorial as, as, as i said before if you have any questions dm me and with that being said i will see you guys in the next video bye bye